All right, so we have a bit of a process. The reason why we don't get orders out for two to three weeks is because once we figure out our next batch and we arrange our crystals, we then put them in a bucket of distilled water and we let them cleanse under the sun. And um, so we also put organite in there, in the water, um, water being an excellent conductor of life force. Um, and we just let them sit under the sun. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, this is this will go in the capstone of an XL Jumbo Giza. Um, you know, this is a topaz crystal right here. So, and the rest are uh, what you see in the crystal matrix and some um, some in the in the capstone. So after we let them sit out here, uh, we then program them with frequencies and we bring them into the sound accumulator box over here. And uh, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, next step is to put them into the sound accumulator box. Now, we always have the sound the frequencies pumping in here for either devices that are already constructed like these or some crystals that will go in devices. Um, here we see some earth pipes that will go in a Nubian chakra equalizer. And you can see the quartz glued in there. And this is a medium Giza mini chem buster and there's a couple more Nubians. So we're gonna close this up and um, first we're gonna put on some more frequency. So usually we have just the 15 Hertz or the eight going all, all the time, but now we're gonna add all of them and then turn it up and close it. Like my beat up iPad here. <laughs> so let's turn this up a little bit. And we're gonna keep these guys in there the rest of the day. Here's some quartz that will go in microcosmic tower busters. So after we take them out of the sound accumulator box, we coil them in quartz and then we put in the gemstones and other minerals, crystals, and let them soak up the solfeggio frequencies. So here we have black tourmaline, we have topaz. These are both very piezoelectric. And then we have tektite, pass light very well. Amethyst chevrons large garnets, selenite, blue kyanite, emeralds, super seven amethyst, garnets, agates, sapphires, rubies, garnets, smaller garnets, elite shungite, and large and small aquamarines. Then we have our shungite powders, uh, oversized quartz sand, fine quartz sand, we love that one, and medium quartz sand, which is a nice, nice, uh, that medium is used in most devices it's a nice nice size all right and so we go back to our solfeggio we always play the 528 uh, Hertz and let's add some more let's just add the whole whole gamut here turn it up and so Close these and let these guys soak that up for probably another few hours. So we just took these topaz crystals from Brazil out of the sound accumulator box and we'll be using these, utilizing these in all pyramids, jumbo and up. Non-pulsed, pulsed and mini combustor size and just regular. Uh, these will obviously be in the, the crystal transmutation matrix in the middle. And now these are very piezoelectric, along with black tourmaline and Rochelle salts and normal quartz. Those are highly piezoelectric, which means when the pressure on, from the resin is on them 24-7, you're going to have the, all of their amazing properties activated 24-7 and they have the amazing ability to amplify energy, convert energy from you know, negative to positive, transmit, restore, balance. So these are definitely a crucial new addition to the shop. We're very grateful to have these. Uh, so if you get a jumbo pyramid or bigger, you'll have these. All right, it's the next day, which is kind of like Christmas for me. Get these devices out for the first time. And, um, 
we put uh, you know we we uh, put some music on last night that wasn't the frequencies we put like uh, binaural beats on Pandora Radio, Native American tribal drums, flutes, and this is some some water. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see here we put sand in here as a good foundation for the molds. That's that that will hold up. A lot of times these foundational molds get our mold foundations get resin all over them, so they're not the best. Um, so after this first coat, we we'll take them out. We already took this one out just to check on it and uh, came out pretty well. Now we're going to do a second coat for extra durability. Um, and that's going to include a lot of gold and silver and quartz sand. And uh, maybe a little selenite powder. It is the next morning and the second layer has now cured. Here's our heater. Had some uh, binaural beats playing all night. Some nice smooth healing tones. And these are some other uh, tower busters we already took out, freebies. There's some pieces we need to sand. So now we are on full sanding and glossing mode, which is the second to last step. And then we will. Uh, Get some pictures. Start arranging the orders, but this is this is the really the fruits of the labor right here, where we can really see our, our finished product and get it nice and beautiful and ready for its buyer. Okay, so these guys have got their final coat. They've been sanded and glossed. They are ready for pictures and packing. But first, we're giving them some more time in the box soak up some more uh, tones and we also use water so this will be the water that we're kind of programming so we can charge our crystals before the next batch so then we can go back to square one so we're getting this ready we're always kind of multitasking uh, and we have to pack these ones and we have to gloss these ones and then they go in the box. This guy's already been in the accumulator box plenty. Got lots of sun and moon as well, ready to go. So that's it. Let's uh, take a look at how these guys look in the sun. Beautiful day today. And these are the pyramids that are ready to go. These uh, have been double coated, lots of time in the box, sanded, glossed. So this is the new sleek Nubian. It's a little bit smaller than the other Nubian chakra equalizer, mini chem buster. And you can see a topaz crystal there, highly piezoelectric, but we've talked about that. So this is just a little smaller, a little sleeker, and uh, of course comes with a pulse, comes with earth pipes filled with organite. This will be a new in a new family pack that includes the dream machine and no tacticals. Okay. This is a medium Giza mini combustor, no pulse. So this would be a better device for bringing to the beach because you don't have to worry about getting this wet. Do not get this wet. You can still get this one wet, grounded into soil or water. Just find a way to elevate this, okay? This is the new Pentacle. This is a uh, big boy right here. So this is four and a half pounds. You can see our black tourmaline here. This is a crystal matrix, accumulator field, second accumulator field, distributor field. And you can see topaz over here as well. So this has got five crystals, obviously. Uh, it's about four and a half pounds. And we're going to make this an equalizer version and a mini chem buster version. But alone, without any earth pipes, without any pulse, very powerful, good pyramid for the house, protective pyramid. This one is the X... No, I'm sorry, this is the XL. Yeah, this is 8x8, eight eight, going out to a repeat buyer. And um, you can see our shells that we use there. And you can see our black tourmaline over here. So this one, yeah, 8x8, eight eight, the base. Uh, these ones are similar. This is about 5.5 pounds, and this one's about 4.5 pounds. Uh, they're similar price, though, because this one has five crystals. Uh, so this, these are ready to pack. Beautiful day.